Welcome back to my little channel. Now, this is a new background. You've not seen it with me before. I know. Great flag of Great Britain, Union Jack. And um, Lady Justice, blacked out, see-through. Is there a message in that? <laughs> yes, yes, there is. It's not nice of me to say, but in UK... Justice is a farce. Now, one could argue that this is true in a lot of Western countries, or indeed in a lot of countries. And um, I know there are arguments to be made there. But this one is a little bit more specific than that. Now, for the last few years, Tommy Robinson has um, opened the eyes of most of the Western world, especially the UK, it seems, of the certain words I can't use. Grooming? You know, that the thing monkeys do to each other to make them feel better? Well, it's not like that, but they still call it grooming, funny enough. And it's rather a, an abusive form of, of, of grooming, which is mostly done to white girls. And when I say mostly done to white girls... Numbers prove that it's about 95% white girls. But, but yeah, it's, it's, it's not like monkeys groom each other, but it's a different sort of grooming. I'll probably use the words anyway. Anyway, I'm trying to make this channel bigger, so I'm trying to avoid certain words, and I'm not good at it. So uh, feel free to criticize me over that. So, yeah, Lady Liberty is... No, not Lady Liberty. Lady Justice is see-through. Because, um, well, the English court system, the English justice system, is pretty much see-through. Because certain monkeys are to be protected from criticism by other monkeys. Because, well, you know, when, when they start grooming other monkeys, and those other monkeys don't like to be groomed, well, obviously you're not to criticize certain monkeys, because how dare you? They're a special kind of monkeys. They're East Asian monkeys, it seems. I don't think so, but that's the story. But the story gets worse. Now, most of the people indicted in these grooming activities have been from East Asian descent. Now, I'm not going to say that there's no one other than East Asians who do behavior like this, but the vast majority in these organized pass them around grooming situations are east asians and then i read this and i really get angry now 16 mostly asian origin men including a police constable have appeared in bradford magistrates court on charges related to drugs and child, I won't say it, and I'll probably have to whack it out, I won't. Seriously? A police officer now too? Well, I'm pretty sure he's a regular Bobby, isn't he? Yeah, 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 he lives in a little, little cottage, you know, white picket fence. Gets up in the morning every day and, and goes to, to walk the beat. That sort of copper, right? That sort of... Constable. Yeah, no, not really. I mean, I'm not going to list everything they say here, but you can read it if you want to. Links will be provided. I'm going to go back here. I will have links to different articles. I'm, I'm, I'm going to call it short on this one. I'm sorry, I'm going to. Because this pisses me off. Now obviously, that this is being done is infuriating in itself. I know that there have been parents that have been arrested for wanting to fight for their daughters. Or actually did fight for their daughters. And they've been arrested because how dare you turn against certain grooming monkeys of Asian descent. But really... A constable now too. Now, if anything, I think this good old constable, this 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 
upright standing man, the stiff upper lip bobby needs to be punished at least 10 times as much as the other monkeys that were grooming. And I mean, I've seen certain sentencing being done with other monkeys that have groomed. It's a joke. They get away with a slap on the wrist. But a bobby doing this? When, UK government, are you going to stand up and defend your citizens? Now, the good thing is that there are politicians who actually want to defend their citizens. I'm not going to deny that. And it's not something that should be denied. There is actually, um, I forgot his name, I have to look it up. Uh, there is an, uh, a Pakistani member of parliament who is um, pretty dead set against the whole let's let this slide. Uh, he really, really wants to uh, crack down on this hard because he too recognized, yeah, you know what? I'm of um, Eastern Asian background, but how the fuck can anyone accept this shit? Oh, there you go. Wanted to keep it clean. Uh, sorry. So I think his name was uh, Javid. I'm, I'm really not that good with names and I can't find it really fast. I'm sorry, you have to look into this. I have links downstairs, so you will find it in there as well. Uh, British Home Secretary, yes, there it is. Conservative uh, MP Sajid Javid. Now, I mean, it's easy to say it's all people from one background. It's not. But when it's predominantly people from one bank round, yeah, you know, that's a problem. But to deny it's happening because it's predominantly people from one background? What the hell were you doing, UK? And then other politicians got involved as well. Hell, uh, what's her name? There was a Labour, uh, uh, how do you call it, MP, who was actually one of the shadow cabinets. She was from Labour, Sarah Champion, and she actually called out on this whole child exploitation thing. And because she did, she was removed from her party and replaced with someone else who actually blamed her for calling out the fact that they are ignoring that this is happening. Yeah, I'm just too angry now. OK, guys. Um, criticism as always is more than welcome like share and subscribe if you feel so inclined I am looking forward to your criticism now this is not a happy topic this is not something I would say okay yeah you know what share this one if you don't want to share this one I completely agree but at the same time I hope to see you all next time